So this is another example from the book, an excuse for us to use the Stephen Boltzmann law. Here, the question states that we need to calculate the equivalent black body temperature, Te, of the solar photosphere. That means the outermost uh, region of the sun that we can see, the visible part of the outermost region of the sun or surface of the sun, or the photosphere. Based on the following information, the flux density, or F, of solar radiation that reaches Earth is 1368 watt per meter square. Notice the unit, watt per meter square. The distance D between the Sun and the Earth is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meters. And the radius of the photosphere of the Sun is Rs equals to 7 times 10 to the power of 8 meters. So, calculate Pe, the black body temperature or the black body equivalent temperature of the solar photosphere from this information. Now, the hint is we need to use the Stefan Boltzmann law, F equals to sigma T to the power of 4. Using this equation, we want to calculate T, the black body equivalent temperature. So we have F, and definitely we have sigma. But then there's a few other information here, right, that we need to use as well. So we need to modify, the strategy is we need to modify F here so that we get the actual F, and then using the F, we divide by sigma to calculate P. Right now, the F that we have here is the F on Earth. 1368 watt per meter square is the F that we receive on Earth. But we want to calculate the F at the Sun because we want to calculate the black body temperature of the Sun. Okay, why we use the Earth? Because obviously we don't measure F at the Sun. We measure F here and we guess F at the Sun using an equation, using a ratio. So the strategy is first calculate the actual F. Once we calculate the actual F, then we back calculate T. We want to calculate F at the photosphere. We don't know that. We just have F on Earth. So F photosphere is equals to F on Earth. I think just now we use Fs. But not exactly. This is definitely more than this one. So we know the relation between the F at the Sun and the F on Earth is just based on a ratio of how far the sun is from the earth. So that ratio is just the radius of the solar photosphere divided by the distance from the sun. So let's say this is earth and this is the radius of the photosphere um, up to this point. Rs, and then the distance so this radius divided by the distance gives us the ratio that relates Fs to this okay but then there is this relationship because remember that the angle covered by the sun is inversely proportional to d to the power of 2. That's where we get this from. We multiply with uh, DFSS, then you get the F photosphere. So this is 1368. What is Rs? 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meters divided by d which is 7.00 times 10 to the power of 8 meters, power of negative 2. No, this is the same. It's just that it's inverse. Well, if you want it to be negative 2, then it will just be separate the other way around. And you should get 6.87, uh, 28 times 10 to the power of 7 watt per meter square. And that is the photosphere, the F of the photosphere.
which is a lot higher than just 1,368 on the surface of the sun. So now we have the F photosphere that we can calculate the black body temperature using the equation F sigma d to the power of 4. Sigma is um, that constant value. Yeah, 5.67 times 10 to the power of negative 8. And then the temperature is what you want to calculate. And this F here is 6.5. 8 times 10 to the power of 7 and we get D after you square, not square, you root it by 4 and you get the temperature. So the temperature is? It's about 5770 Kelvin. Now this is another temperature for the sun. Compare this with the temperature we calculated before using Wayne's displacement law. What was that? That was 6,100. This is 5,770, about the same value, plus minus 300 degrees, 300 Kelvin. But it is slightly different because uh, the spectrum of the sun's emission differs slightly from the black body spectrum. 